18th Street, occupied by three black males, 1085. Before I got on here, I was doing some drag racing at our, our track here and traveling a little bit on the west coast. And I came from another agency working in a, a detention center and always wanted to be a Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Officer. Uh, I finally got the chance and you know, it's great. There's, there's no other job that's better than what I'm doing. Uh, looks like we have a citizen waving us down here. I just referring to me that uh, security said that the male has left and he's over at Walnut Gardens. I'll be out looking for the female over here. Control 3, King 53, hailed by a citizen at the apartments. will be on the west side. Like she's freaking out anymore. I'm trying, I'm there with her kids, trying to help her kids calm down because they're jumping uh, around and all this. Uh-huh. Are you babysitting or anything? Nah, she was at the pool. Uh-huh. She's like 40, 50 years old or something. Uh-huh. And um, like, she's just acting dumb. Like, I'm going, like, I told her I'm going to leave if she don't stop. Because uh -huh. she's like, she gave me this right here. She gave you that right there? How old are you? 16. 16? Yeah. What apartment are we talking about? Right here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Control 3, King 50. Police. Hi. Yeah. Is your uh, mommy here? Yes. Can I speak with her? Yes. Thanks. Hi. Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? Fine. This is for. Hey, what are you doing? Cover yourself up there. Why? Because we got a, a report that there's a problem in this apartment. What's that? Well, the problem was that uh, there's all these kids in here and you were supposed to be acting kind of bizarrely. Bizarrely? Yeah. My mom's okay. Oh, come on. Okay, what? who are all these kids? Oh, my God. Just some of them, sir. Just some of them. It was a bit of bizarre. Okay, well. Oh, God. Do you have a robe or anything that you could throw on, ma'am? Yeah. Where's, where's your robe at? My God. How many children are actually yours, ma'am? Five. Okay, when we get a call on this, it's, it's a serious call because we're talking about children here. And if there's any no problems, everything's fine then we're satisfied, okay? Yeah. Now you said four of the children are yours and two of the other children are your babysitting. You think I'm not drunk? I don't have a man. I'm not laying up in the bed. What? I don't have a man. I'm not laying up in the bed, okay? I'm not drunk. Hey! Just turn the lights on. I'm you just not... hit me in the mouth. No, I didn't. You didn't? No, I didn't. Hmm. No, I didn't. Am I imagining that? Am I imagining your 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 hand against my face? Oh, come on. Get out of my house. What? No, we're, not, we're not getting out of your house. No, but you can. We're not getting out of your you house. You can. I can? I know I can, but I'm not leaving. Hi. Now I'm trying to handle this as gently no, as possible. I don't think you are. Cheryl Kelly? Well, in my opinion, you are not in the uh, condition. Don't take me to jail for being I'm drunk. not taking you to jail. <laughs> Why don't you, you, you call her my mom? Her that, is, that is so we can watch your kids. There's nothing children to do with because you. She's, no, she's not fit right now to what? watch these children, OK? Don't be threatening me. That's it for you. Come on, come on.
Cheryl, why'd you do that? Cheryl, we're trying to work with you here now. Stay with, stay, with, stay with the kids. Okay. Stay away. It's okay, sweetheart. It's okay. Hi. Hi. Hey. Is that your baby brother? Okay. We're going to have Grandma come and take care of you guys, okay? Oh. Now, these aren't your sister and brother? Yeah, they are. different dad. Okay. All right. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm going to start off and get your names, okay? All right. Okay, sit up. Come sit on. Up, come Let on. us do our job, Cheryl. Come sit on. Sit up. Straighten your leg out here. Straighten your leg out. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, cooperate with me here, all right, hon? Lift your Trying head up so we you. can get a pressure, okay? Do you know I have a magic bird? A magic bird? Yep. Keep them right in my pocket. Pull them out. Yep. He stays with me all the time. Keep, gives me good luck. Dad. I have guardianship of two, Tyree and Brianna, and Tanea, the little, the little girl. Uh -huh. um, Tanea has been taken away from her after she was born. She was about three weeks, maybe a month old. She was taken, put in child protective services, okay. and she was put in a foster home. Cheryl has full-blown AIDS. I, I didn't know if you know that or not. She's got full-blown AIDS? Yes, she's got AIDS. And Any, anyway, I'm the involved. And the babies? The babies were, but uh, the little girl several converted, which means she had it, but the um, she she threw the disease off. The, the baby girl. Right. I mean, people think that other people want to raise people's child, but it's just a, it's it's not that. I I've just got to make sure I got to be able to live with myself. Right. You know. It's hard to believe that the mother, full blown AIDS, she's raising the kids, and I. That's about, that's about the saddest call I've seen in a long time. See you in station. Yes, sir. Some days it goes like mad, and other days it's, it's pretty quiet. Sometimes you can attribute it to the weather. Other times it's just plain dead. There's nothing out there, nothing happening, nobody out and moving around. Um, other days, you just cannot catch up. You just, that's just one call after another. So it's, it's, um, it's got its, its moments, that's for sure. What the heck is that? See that soon? Yeah, we better go back and check it out. We'll be out at McDonald and Civic Center with possible uh, 417. What's the problem? <laughs> Don't, so what's the problem? Come here. Come here and talk to me. Stop, stop. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. What's going on? She did it for no reason. Calm down. Okay, tell me, is that your mom? Yeah. Okay, what's your name? Stephanie. Stephanie, what happened? Mom, I'm not living with her no more. Will you just calm down and tell me what happened and stop ranting and raving? I can't. I'm not living with her no I more can't. because you don't know how to treat her children. Okay, I can't help you if you're not gonna stop. You don't have to hit me like that for no look at. For no reason, I what? didn't do nothing to her. What is this about? She don't care about anybody but herself and little kids. She's doing is running away, and that's not an answer. I don't care. I do not care. That's okay. the whole problem, your attitude. You got a bad Good. attitude. I'm glad my, I have a bad attitude. It's going to get you nowhere. I don't care. It's going to get you beat up. It's going to get you in trouble. Oh, it's going to get you. I'm scared of those little bad persons that could beat me up. I'm yep. not scared, no. Yeah, I and know. You, you're just 15 and you know everything. Uh, there ain't no other part. Her. She said she's got me one of this. You don't have to eat me all on my face. That's child abuse. You don't know that? Better Sorry, you better look up child abuse one more time because that's not. Well, I ain't going home with her. 401 negative, like me. 
Well, then you'll be reported as a runaway, and we'll come pick care. you up later. That's all. No, we're not done yet. Don't be touching me. I haven't started to touch you yet. Don't even start. Don't even go that route. Take me wherever you want. You're going home or you're going No, I'm not there. going home, okay? You cannot make me. No, I'm not. Take, from home, yeah. Yeah, take you to church. Take me wherever you want. You can take me to Juvie. You can take me to Charlie. You can take me to hell. I don't give a f anymore, okay? Where were you last night? None of your business. You you I was at my friend's house. She didn't so, have last night. So? I was with her boyfriend. Stephanie, if I didn't care about you, I'd let you do whatever you wanted. Don't you see that? Well, I'm not going home with you. You're closing your no, mind. No, I'm not. Stephanie, listen to me. You're talking about, we're talking about communication, right? Okay? What you're doing here is you've closed your mind and you're not even giving this a chance. You're already being negative and you're not even giving this a chance. No, it's not so. This is very important. If you would just try, try a little bit for both of you to sit down and talk and make the rules and go by each of you putting out all the cards on the table of what you want and what your mom wants and come to some kind of medium where you can both agree to it calmly, quietly, calmly, not yeah, yelling, right. not screaming. You don't know my mom too good, do you? But see, you're not even trying, so? okay? I'm, I'm saying this here in front of her so she hears exactly what I'm telling you, the same thing. Why don't you just try this? If you try this, I try nothing. Because that's right, because you've closed your mind. See, then that's back on you. This is on you because no. you're not trying. You don't want this to work. No, I don't. See, then, then you're lost. Well, you're my child till you're 18. I'm not going back with you, no, no. We're we'll talking about this at home. We're not talking about nothing because I ain't going over here. You go to jail. I don't care. Take me to jail. Here, you want my, you want to put handcuffs? I don't care. Go ahead. I don't care. Just to go home with her. I'm not going home with her. No. We'll talk about it when you calm down. Let's no. Go. I'm not going home with you. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. And you, you are. You cannot make me go home with her. Go ahead. I don't give a anymore. Don't be. Are you doing bird. drugs? No. No copy. Control copy. You need to come home and we'll talk I'm about it. I'm not going home. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You cannot make me. We'll talk about it. And then if we can't work something out, maybe you can go stay at your Why don't you at least try? It's better than going to jail. Give it, give it a try. Go home, see how it works, talk Will you calmly. Let me go, please? Will you please? Will you please let me go? Will you please let me go? Go home and talk about it and see how you feel and if you can come to some reasoning. And then if you still want to leave, then you can leave and then she'll file a report and we'll go after you that way. But at least try. If you don't try, then it's just... How could you try? You cannot try with her. No, when you didn't come She's out talking school yesterday. Very reasonable. Did I yell at you? No. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Yes, I said, you did. next time you call me first. That's no. what I said. You know, everybody in the room heard what you were saying to me. Is that was yelling? You should not have called me from somebody else's house and said, oh, well, by the way, I'm here. And you didn't go to school yesterday. Because I called to school now. No. See, so. See, Stephanie, you're not trying. All these things are telling me that you... You just don't even want this to work. And what's going to happen if you have that attitude, you're going to lose in the end because you're not going to have any freedom. You're just mad. You're not going to have any. That's exactly. You're mad. Why don't you think about this? Go home and cool off and think about it and try to talk like a calm person. Go, I will. I give my steps on a curfew. You know, he has to be home every night by a certain time. Where he goes during the day, that's fine. But at 10 o'clock or midnight on the weekends, he has to be home. If he's not home, he gets punished, just like, you know, any other kid. But say, you know, you be reasonable, and I'm sure your mom's going to be reasonable back. It's like they don't tell you now. Go ahead and go home, okay? In the back seat, please. But at least you're trying, you know, and that's the most important. Whether she thinks so or not, you're trying, and you care. That's obvious, because we wouldn't be standing here now if you didn't. Okay? Thanks. Thanks. Well, another juvenile out there on the street thinking they are an adult. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is a terrible age for them. Yep. These kids, they just want to up and go, and then that's when they get into all kinds of trouble, and we end up dealing with them, and they end up going to jail, and that's what we want to avoid. I've been out here about 10 years now. I like the weather. It gets a little warm during the summertime, but for the most part, I enjoy it out here. I'm sort of a exercise buff, so I like to try to stay in shape, uh, do a lot of running, starting to get back in, into my weights, uh, lifting a little bit, so try to stay in shape. Okay, we're responding to a Hispanic male that the person calling in has reported that uh, someone's in her front yard that she doesn't know. He seems disoriented and confused, and all he is wearing is a towel, so we're going to find out 
who this person is and see if we can find a home for him. Control Dave, two, how long has Paul been holding? Less than five. Ten four. Let's go around there. Cool. Let's go this way. Yeah. Poquito. Okay. You don't know this guy? You never seen him before? Is the dog okay? Hi. What, who are you? I'm never told. Who? Victor. Victoria, uh, what are you doing here? I uh, just came around the street and I fell down in the, in the street. Uh-huh. And they have uh, uh, asked for help here and she take a shower and they said, I just came with a short and running down. And fell down. And they said, what are you doing on the street without I, I any clothes? Huh? What were you doing on the street? Look at me, hey. Look at me. What, what were you doing on the street with no clothes on? Uh, some of them were coming to, you want to take me, I don't know for what. Did they say anything? Were they no, yelling anything? Nothing. 28, Adam. This is not my banana. Put your shirt on. Because I fell in, you know, shit, you know. You'll be 9, 27, 71, no social. I want to put it over there. I don't like it over there. <laughs> like it good. Excuse me. That's inside out, buddy. He likes him like that. Like that oh, man. you like him like that? Okay, if you say so. Who do you live with over there on Packer? Huh? Who do you live with over there on Packer? Oh, someone there is in there? Two guys? Here's That's the why your man. eyes are all red. Yeah, because I didn't live there. Smoking a little pot. You, you think these guys were in the, in the drugs? I don't know. It's the first time I see. Uh-huh. What's the tattoos on your fingers? What's this? Uh, it's a J. What is it? What does this stand it's for? It's the name from my, my girlfriend. Your girlfriend. girlfriend. And what is this here? That's a, that's a camel. Yeah. Where'd you lose your pants at? Yep. <laughs> Those are my daughter's shorts right there. Oh, your daughter's short? Bertoldo, we found these yeah. in, in this gentleman's shower. Oh, yeah, when I, I, I stay in there in the gentleman's shower, I know. He stay in seat. Because I, I told you, someone coming to, to, uh, to go and catch me. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I... Are you here in the shower? No, no I, I just stay high out. He, they give me this shirt because uh -huh. when I, I come in running down, I feel in the, the, on the black thing, it's dirty. Yeah, I forgot that. No, nobody was there. Yeah, you forgot it all. Yeah. We never leave the windows open. When he left, his house was totally, was secure, totally secure, and his dogs had free roam of the yard. Yeah. So okay. Why'd you get past my dogs? So they would bite him if uh, yeah. back there, Some right? doesn't want to bite me. They tried to bite you? Yeah. How'd you get past them? Jumped the yard. The what? Jumped jump the yard. And some of the people standing there, you open it at the window, they sit. Troll 3, David, too. Can you send a 443 four, for transport, please? I've got their information on the house. For the house? Yeah. All right, and, and we'll just, I'll just get a quick statement from them saying nobody was there. That stuff. And we'll just go for the 406. Okay. He admits being in the house. Well, yeah, they, Bartolo, you're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. So he's a going? Yeah. We're going to do him for um, burglary. Yeah, like those sh matter of fact, I'm going to no. need those shorts come back for to evidence. Right now? <laughs> <laughs> what is um, his pants here? Yeah. I'm going to okay. need those shorts for evidence, and then All that's right. his property. He can right. keep that, but you want those. Right. Right. Well, Over there? I can photograph him with the victim. You don't have a camera, do you? Uh, I do. I do. Yeah. yeah. The timing was right because if you hadn't come home, he was going to be sent back to his house yeah, because all we had was that some guy was wandering the streets with no clothes okay. on. He stopped for help. His whole claim to fame was that he was being chased and that's where he ran to someone's house to get help. 
So we didn't know anything more until you came and said, hey, I got a pair of pants with a wallet and ID that matches this guy to put everything together. Well, that's great when that happens. That normally doesn't happen. I'm Timing surprised. usually is I'm surprised opposite. my brother-in-law and them are here because they used to be out working. Mm -hmm. So they must have came home early. Which is good. Well, I'm just glad he didn't come on my daughters again. Yeah, because I got three I got girls. Three How many dogs Phoenix. you got back there? <laughs> Five. 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 And uh, I'm fortunate enough to be able to have been hired, and I like my job. My family supports me, and uh, that's basically how I got into it, kind of in my genes. 10.45 at uh, 20th and Walker, no tags. 20th and Walker, 2032. There we go. 119, the uh, car I'm trying to stop is going east on New Jersey from uh, 18th Street, occupied by three black males, 1085. Well. 19, back up code A, they bailed out. Whoopsie. Car, black male, going uh, north, just east of, uh, just east of 18th Street, black male, white tank top. We're going northbound still, east of 18th Street, north of uh, Wood. North of Wood on 18, 18th Street. See, east of 18. I'm in there. Where you at? Just north of Wood. Guys on the east side of the road on 18th. He's probably passing Garfield right now. It's going to be a blue over white Oldsmobile, I believe. Coupe, two door. Just to check. Anybody run in here? I can run in here. I'll walk in here. 18th and Troop. I just tried to do a traffic stop and they bailed out. There was no car pursuit. Right. Uh, just drug paraphernalia. As we were chasing the guy, he was reaching his back right pocket. He was probably going for dope to pull it out and throw it down as we were chasing him. We can't find out if it's registered or not right as of now, so I'm running the VIN number. I'd say the way that they uh, bailed out of the car and let it roll into the tree, it's probably not their car. Drug paraphernalia there. He was reaching his back pocket as we were running, so probably had some dope, either that or a gun to match the bullets, I don't know which. Well, the guy that just uh, got out of the car and ran from us, he uh, forgot to take his ID with him. This uh, matches the paperwork in the car on his address. And uh, looking at it, there's a positive ID now. We're going to get this officer to go with us and run by the guy's house, see if we can't uh, take him into custody. 19, myself, and 117 will be out at 1838.
Well, I was a little disappointed that this guy got away because we gave a good foot chase to him and uh, it went quite a ways. And I thought he was gone for good. Wouldn't be able to catch him, no information on him. So, uh, mistake on his part, and it's going to cost him because I'm going to get this guy. Please. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Can I talk to you for just a second, please? Sure. Can I step in? It's awful hot out here. Sure. I appreciate it. Um, you all can come through. Okay. I, mean, I don't care. I don't Thank care. you. I appreciate it. No, you guys can come through. Okay. I'm, the baby's I'm, asleep, but now other than that, you can come through. Do you know Donnie Walker? Or Donnie, uh... Donnie, that's probably who you're talking about. Yeah. That's my son. Is that, and he don't stay here? No, he doesn't live here. Okay, because I got his car, and I just need to release it to him. That's fine, but I—I I mean, do you know how I get a—do you know how I can get a hold of him? He called me earlier today, but I can show you the phone. When he calls me, he calls me anonymous. Okay. He, he never even calls me. Oh well, I can't. We'll see you while ago, I sir. When he phones me, let me show you. When he phones me, see that? That was him. He phones me anonymous. Where do you think he might be staying at? I mean, he's just in the world. He, he, his lifestyle. He, he fools with people that I don't even let come in my yard. Like what kind of people? Like they, they look. All I know is I, I call it street like. Mm -hmm. That's all the the name that I give it. It's street like. Mm -hmm. And I tell him he wasn't raised that way, but he chose that life, so I let him have that life. Mm -hmm. But they look streety to me. Their pants are all down, and when he lived here, he didn't dress that way. But well, you seem like a real good mom, and you're a nice lady. I appreciate your help by letting us in and talking to us, but it's uh, pretty important that I get a hold of him. I want to talk to him. Like I said, I got his car, and I need to release it back to him if there's any way possible to... You know, Doniel is one of those children where Doniel probably figures that if it, if it is some trouble going on, mm. Doniel figures I would tell you. So why would he tell me? Okay. You know, the neighbors will, will verify the kind of person I am. They'll tell you I'm the kind that would turn my children in if something was wrong. Okay. I believe you. You know? In that case, when you see him, let him know that uh, when I catch him, he's going to go to jail. Okay. Went to college to be a pilot, ended up in the military. One of the jobs that was open to me at that time was a military policeman. I did get exposed to the, this type of work and found out I really liked it. So I got out of service and started doing it full time as a as a police officer. Going to a disturbance on 29th Terrace. Evidently, somebody's parked their truck in their neighbor's yard, and now they're refusing to move it. So we're going to go over here and see if we can't get him to move it and see what the circumstances are behind it. There's a bunch of folks down here. This is probably it. Yeah, we see you, partner. What's up here, Bob? Who called? Why don't you, you uh, put, put the, the chain, chain down? down. No, put it down. There you go. That's what he had. Who had? That's what the guy had. What he signed? Uh, I'm, I'm sitting here asleep. Man pulls up in my driveway, hollering for my you girlfriend. Didn't pull up in the driveway, he pulled up in the yard. Uh -huh. He comes up into the yard. His name's Jim. And he comes up to the yard, beating on the door, running his mouth. I told him to leave. The man didn't leave, so I punched him in his mouth. He pulls out the chain, mm -hmm. and then he threatens to beat my ass with it. Okay. okay. So I beat his ass, and he runs off. Oh, okay. You guys. All right. Well, I yeah. just wanted to make a report well, of it in case he comes back. You asked him to leave, right? Yeah, he pulls up the driveway. Did he threaten you? Yeah, he threatened to beat okay. my ass. That's why I hit him and knocked him back down the stairs, and that's when he grabbed the chain. Okay. All right. Um, if he comes back or something, just give us a call. Um, okay. I mean, because okay. I don't want to keep getting harassed. Well, I understand. All night I understand. This guy was swinging the chain. This guy and this yeah. guy yeah. He was hitting it with yeah. the door. He was hitting the door, he hit the door with it. Okay. He swung the chain at the door. Okay. And well, well we may have the guy at the station, so we're gonna go down there and check. Did you hear that? What's that? Assault victim at the station. Okay. We're gonna go to the station and see if it's him. Yeah. It yeah. Is. yeah. It is. He said he was blood. <laughs> I told him he hit his head on that yeah. uh, fender of that I truck. I told him he was pretty bloody. He was white now. Older and balding, wearing a white shirt with blue stripes. Yeah, that's him. 
Okay, hold us out there in regard. Ready for the station, 2049. Y'all gonna be here where we can come back and contact y'all? live here and they live there. Okay. Hey, partner, partner. Hey, will you sign a complaint on this guy? All right. They're saying that, that the guy jumped out of the truck with the chain first, ran up, was beating on the door. Now we'll come back. Evidently, uh, a victim or possibly a suspect from this last disturbance that showed up at the station. We think it's him anyway. Matches the description, and he's trying to report an assault on him. When actually, it sounds like he's going to be the primary aggressor, and he decided to duke it out with this guy and call him outside. And this guy came out to defend himself in his house and everything to keep this guy from tearing it up. And actually, the primary aggressor sounds like he's the one that got whooped. So we're going to go over and see if we can't get the other side of the story. And quite possibly, we're going to make an arrest out of this deal. Probably the guy that's at the station. What's your name? James. James. Yeah. What's going on? I went over to get this girl. She, she ran off and hid, and... Uh, Who is this girl to you? Well, I wanted to... Who's this girl to you? She your girlfriend, wife, what? Well, she was, but yeah, she was, and she What's disappeared, what? my girlfriend. Uh-huh. And we was talking about, uh, you know, getting married and having a child and uh -huh. throwing it together and everything, uh -huh. and, and she, you know, she got all freaked out and everything, and, and I went over there and uh -huh. I said, come on, you know, let's go. Uh-huh. And, uh... Hell, this big buck ass naked son of a bitch. He, get, he, he jumped up there with a knife. And I reached back in the truck and uh, grabbed Chopper's chain. And this other guy from down the road came up and just laid me out. How would you react if somebody pulled up in your yard with a truck oh, and pulled up? Now, hang on, okay. let me finish. Okay, I'm wrong. And, and started calling this guy out, trying to take his girlfriend or fi pick a uh, fight with him. Her, her and I was talking. I'll tell you what, how much put you on your back in her wrist? Fair enough. Let's throw your hand. Okay. He's got a huge dog with him. Okay. Is it in the, the car? Uh, it's in the car. Do you have any guns in the no, car? You can't leave your dog in the truck. He got hit in the head with fists. Okay. That's what the neighbors are all saying, fists. Well, no damn fist. He's got some bumps and bruises, and some scrapes on him. Can you check him out? Come on, man. A little bit. We got a call over on 29th Terrace. And uh, evidently, this guy came over there and drove up in their yard. And his, his, his ex-girlfriend is dialing with another guy over there. And he goes over there and says, you're coming with me or else. He starts going beating on their door with a chain, like a like a dog chain. And the guy comes out of the house, butt naked. And this guy says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to whoop you. This guy says, he's going to whoop the other guy. And the other guy goes, I don't think so. And, well, he got the worst end of it, but he started it, so. Oh, OK. All right. Good deal for trespassing and quite possibly disorderly. Okay. Welcome to fight. All right. And we got animal control coming up with the dog. We'll probably leave the, the truck here for right now. Just give him the opportunity to bond out. I was not messing with the mess. What were you messing with? Just marijuana. Marijuana. Yeah. Well, yeah. as far as tonight goes, sounds like you've uh, learned a pretty valuable lesson by going over there and messing with that guy, huh? Well, uh... You ain't gonna, in other words, you ain't going to do it no more. At least, you know, uh, no, not by myself anyway. I, no, I, no, uh, so no, you don't understand. Yeah, no, we're we'll catching some slack no, here, no, making a bond where it. you can afford it. Right. Now, I don't want to. I don't want to hear about you going back over there tonight, okay? Not me. Or any time for that matter, because trust me, it's not going to be hard to figure out if something happens to them people or something goes on over there, or who it's going to be. Well, I don't have. You know anything. what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. What it ends up being is this guy went over there tried to resume a lost love, I guess, with this girl, and she's already found her a different man. She want nothing to do with him, and uh, he tried to pick a fight with that old boy and, at his own house, which isn't a very smart thing to do. And basically, he got whooped. I mean, he picked a fight with a bigger guy, and he lost. A lot of people ask you why you want to be a police officer. Uh, you could give them the generic answer, you know, protect and serve the community. Uh, and that's fine, and there's a lot to that. Uh, for me, probably the the real reason, uh, I'd call it the, you know, the thrill of the chase. Uh, when the, you know, dispatcher calls you and that hot tone comes out, and the next thing you know, you're chasing a, a bad guy with a gun, and to me, that's what it's all about. 
got a vehicle here we're going to check out. 16, what in the world? What is that guy doing? Chevy truck. Copy, 45 that vehicle at uh, 2nd Central. What are we doing? Nothing. Lean against the car there. We'll be out at Market and Woods Weather. No, you lean over here. Are we down here working? No. Huh? Yeah. I wasn't working. No. It took me to go get something to eat. Well, produce me some ID. Uh, I don't have any women. What's your name? Gina. Gina? Gina what? Are you married, man? Yes. Does your wife know where you're at? Uh -huh. Does your wife know where you're at? No. Uh -huh. oh, Are we practicing safe sex? No. How do you know him? This friend. This friend. Come here. Huh? Albert. What's his last name? I don't know. You don't know? How long have you known him? Well, we've dated a couple of times before. Dated or he's, he's uh, met you while you were working? Is that that's what's going on? Yeah, he used to be when I was working there. We just went and got something to eat right now. Just come in? Uh -huh. <laughs> this... That's going to be great when my husband finds out. So you're married? Yeah. How long have you been married? Seven years. Seven years? So you say you're supposed to be at work right now? Yeah. I'm going. I do a bank run. Where you live at? In Missouri. And you're married? Yeah. Does your wife know what you do? No. How often do you do this? Fairly regular? No. No. What do you think your wife would do if she found out? Probably leave me. Probably leave you. And you're out here having unprotected sex with a well known prostitute? He said that um, they gave her 20 bucks and then they wouldn't aid on that. Do you have kids that live in the house also? No. Well, lucky for them, unlucky for your wife. How many times have you been arrested for it? Huh? How many times have you been arrested for us? Uh, for this? Yeah. I, I was over, I played it, uh, it was a joke over in Kansas City, Missouri. I knew it was a stakeout when they first fired this. They was advertising over the TV. And I stopped by and I was joking with this lady. And she was a, a cop. You got framed, right? Huh? You was framed, right? No, I wasn't framed. I'm not oh. saying I was framed. Okay. You want to call your wife for what? So she can make that last bank run. Okay. Does she work with you then or what? Well, she, this is her bank run. It's what? This is her bank run. Her bank run? Yeah, she makes a bank run. All right. And I was doing it because she went. What, what does she have to deliver? Uh, she picks up checks. All right. And takes them to get processed. Well, since you've been cooperative, we'll go ahead and let you. Anybody else who can come pick it up? No. Hello, sweetheart. Uh, yeah, I better not call you, sweetheart. I got arrested. No, I'm not kidding. Prostitute. Kansas City, Kansas. You got. You got to make this last run, sweetheart. Sweetheart. You're going to have to make this last run. She hung up on me. I don't know her personally, but uh, officers have constantly ran her, found her down here. Um, she's usually on the Missouri side soliciting people. Um, I've heard her name ran several times, and I've seen her on the Missouri side. I've never personally talked to her myself. But uh, this is a very... A bad spot as far as prostitutes go. They always, they always stand it right down here on the right on the um, 
the Missouri-Kansas line. That way, if they see a cop from either side, they can just step across the line, and, and we can't do anything about it. Put your hands behind your back. Okay. Is there any way I can make this last run and come back and turn myself in? What's that? Could I make this last run and turn myself back in? Boy, Mary. I mean, go, go. I'm serious. I, I mean, don't, I'm... don't move. Sir, you should have thought about that before you came down here with the hooker. Now that you get caught, now you want to change what you did. Well, this gentleman admitted to having prior sexual offenses. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of guys you run into out here soliciting these prostitutes. Most of them are married, like this gentleman. We're going to go ahead and book him in jail and at least get him off the streets for a little while here. We do a lot of, a lot of teamwork down here. Uh, to catch the dope dealers, you got to use teamwork. Uh, they're younger, they're faster than you. We always try to get three to four officers where we, uh, if we're not doing it, we don't have a lot of calls. We do a lot of proactive police work. Uh, we hit the target areas and, um, and try to put an impact in it. It's hard to do, but uh, you know, with the right teamwork, we can get it done. I'm going up ahead and check out this convenience store. It's a uh, known area for uh, narcotic trafficking. We're going to check it out. We've got to report suspicious people in the parking lot, possibly uh, selling drugs. So we're going to go check it out. What's the location of where you are? In the 2400 block of Mechanic. What's your name? Take your hands out of your hand. First name? Fred. You ready to Deshaun? Yeah, that's my cousin. How old are you, Fred? 21. Huh? 21. Where you live at? 27 K. 27 K. Got one running, Sammy! Hold on. 27th and J. We chased the guy in, he ran from us, and he ran straight to the apartment. There's got plenty of weed in here. They're sitting here making it now. One, two, six, do we have somebody else running? I don't think we have a visual on anybody else, Lieutenant. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. I don't got nothing on me. Why'd you run? Cuz, man, you messing with me for nothing, sir. Checking to make sure we got all the officers accountable. Okay. Go ahead and sit back down on the butt. Sit on your butt. Come on. Come on this way. Come on this way. Come on. Come on. Come on through here. Come on over here. Right. Take the baby through there. Whose house is this? This is her mom's house. Where's your mom at? Okay, let's, let's bring her in and ask her if we can look around. We already got a consent from her. She we already got a consent? Search, yeah. What they do is an example here. They cut it out, empty the uh, tobacco out, and fill it up with marijuana. Sir. Whose marijuana is that? It's not mine, sir. And you want to tell me why you ran from us? Because y'all was fit to beat me up. No, all we did was stop and ask your name. You're the one who took off running. Y'all right? was fit to beat me up, sir. I ran for my life. I feel my life. Fear of your life. That's what you ran for the police? Yes, sir. All right. 
See, this right here is where they've been making marijuana cigars. This is the tobacco they have been emptying out of regular cigars and filling up with marijuana. So they've been making, uh, he's done quite a bit of business tonight, uh, selling. And the worst part, he puts all his evidence right out front for everybody in the world to see. I just want to file on well, somebody, because I mean, I got little kids I'm okay. trying to look out for. Man, I, and I cannot take this. They are driving me crazy. Damn, y'all don't care about nothing or nobody. But you know what? I want all of y'all away from me. And I'm, I'm going to have a heart attack trying to worry about the grown-ups and the kids. This is wrong. Damn, it's wrong. How old are you? How old are you? Man, yeah, that's I'm fine. Just you, if her notice not to come back here, and if she comes back here, I'll, you want to file on her? You I, I, I do. I ask them to stay out of here. Huh? She's not Damn. When I left get your here, stuff and get out here and don't come back. Man, when I left here earlier, I told get her. Get your stuff. I'm like, you I'm come back here again, you'll be arrested, cool. okay? I've been gone all day. Cigar. Did you see the trash can out front of your house? No, I didn't. They've been didn't making mean. this for some... Now it's full up. I've been gone all day, and I just came in, and I left again. They were if I hit her, would y'all do something to me? All damn day long, I cannot work and try to take care of my family without having <laughs> like this happen. Now, if I gotta get out with me and my little kids going, you don't give a damn. Damn. I wish I had a gun. I'd kill all of these damn dope dealers and users because I'm fed up with this. They ruin people's lives. You have to be careful about who you get to watch your kids next time. Yeah. Okay? Oh, and yeah. Oh. All I can say is, it's your house. You told her to stay out, so and I don't want she it. comes I don't back want again, then you have a right to file them. Because, like I said, when I left, I told her don't have anybody in here. And that girl was not in here, and that boy damn sure wasn't in here. So you know what? House. I'm going to beat your ass. I'm, this is not a dope house. I don't indulge in dope. I hate, dope has ruined my whole family. So, you know, anything that I can do to stop it, I'm going to try to. But they're going to have to just, I need to just, damn. Well, you just took the first step, OK? So you told them, you gave them notice not to come back here, gonna... come back oh, here man. again. Oh, Lord. Then you have the right to file them. Well, I'm, I'm going to call They come running back in here again, we're going to chase them. Well, I don't, like okay. I'm saying, I we keep my door to, locked. So that's why when I'm not here, she just open the door and let them in. But well, I'm saying, I don't want that. Here when I came in here. You. When, I, when I ran in here, there's about eight people in here. It's just a very sad situation. She's very upset for the welfare of her kids. It's a, it's a sad situation. Uh, but right now, we're going to, guys in custody, and it's going to be off the streets right now. And it's just a sad situation here. The mother's still very upset. We're headed to a location in far east Harris County. Uh, it's going to be the northern part of Laporte. It's a neighborhood that's uh, well known for uh, crack dealing and marijuana. You can come through here any time of the day and uh, purchase any type of narcotics that you, you like. It's just an old neighborhood that uh, it's kind of like lost touch with reality. And it's quite possible that anything we stop out here is going to, you know, the person's going to have narcotics or has been arrested for narcotics before. Close the door and all. He's gonna peek inside that vehicle, so anything's in plain view. Where's that white guy at? Where's that white guy? Come here, man. Look out, friend. They ain't waiting on my mom. You have a driver's license? Huh? You, have, you have a driver's license? What I do? You, it's private property. All this private property. You in the you in the front seat of the vehicle? Okay, I, I, I need to see your driver's license. Just stay on, get handed over from here. Okay, sir, I, I, I want you to step back over there, okay? I, I'm not talking to you. If you come if you, if you come closer to me, I'm gonna put you under arrest for hindering. How old are you? 20. 20, you have insurance on the vehicle? Yes, sir, I do. What are you doing out here? This is, used to be my old roommate. Okay. I'm a very close friend of his family, so I come here all the time. Sir? Sir, okay, listen to, me. Listen, listen to me, okay? If I, listen to me, okay? If I want to know something from you, I'll ask you. Do you have anything inside the vehicle that shouldn't be in here? No, sir, I don't. So the being that you don't have anything in here, you wouldn't mind me checking, right? No, sir, I won't. Okay. Have you ever been in jail? Yes, sir, I have. For what? For uh, minor possession. Minor possession? Okay, of come alcohol. on. Of alcohol. And uh, come over here. And what else? That's it? This is, this is your vehicle? Yes, sir, it is. OK. So you don't have anything in there, right? No, sir, I don't. Was that your backpack that I saw back there in the back seat? 
No, sir. It's not, it's I don't not your backpack? Have any backpack? Okay, you want to you open up the door and, and just see that blue backpack that's back there? With that blue backpack right here? Is that your, yours? Is it yours? No, it's not. It's not? No, well, wait a minute. I mean, it's inside your vehicle, right? Is there anything inside this vehicle that you don't want me to know about? Man, I'm telling you right okay. now. Okay, just relax. Just, just go ahead and sit down, okay? Just, just go ahead and sit down. Okay, why, why don't you hand me that backpack? This is not your backpack, no, but this is your vehicle, right? This is my vehicle. Okay, well, you are under arrest, okay? What else is in here? Man, I don't know. Okay, listen to me, okay? I want you to stand up and put your hands behind your back. Don't get all froggy on me either. I'm gonna walk over to this vehicle. Walk back over here. Look out, Preston. Yeah, if you can't, if you can't turn back, I got about half a pound over here. Including right here. Don't move. No, man. Oh, Why is it? Because that's not mine. It's your vehicle, isn't it? Yes, sir, but that's okay. not mine. What? You want to tell me who, who, who it belongs to? I don't know. Ask him. Seriously. Is it safe to say that maybe he put he uh, he put that backpack back yes. there? Yes. Because I sure, man, if I was mine, I would tell you. Okay. You sit there and think about it. And make sure you, you want to help yourself out. Five copies. Oh, here I have two, I don't know, you got two baggage here, three separate baggies, packaged separately. Huh? Uh, four baggies. Huh? Four individually baggies. Four or five, go ahead. Four or five, registration on Mary X-ray David, three nine Lincoln. That's not my bag. My clothes were, were inside the here. I don't know how they got in the truck. Oh, you don't know how those they got are my, in? These are my shoes right here. Those okay. clothes are those? Those clothes are mine. I just told him those clothes are mine, but the bag and all okay. this. You have no idea how this clothes got inside this bag. I don't have any idea how the clothes got inside the bag. I sure don't. Because, like I say, I, I didn't even stay at home last night. I stayed at a room. I just came from the room to get my pager, which I had left in there. Go back to the back of the truck, man. Wait back there. OK. Just, no. uh, just take huh? him over to the white guy and let him confront each other. Come here. Turn over here. Right here. Look at your friend. Say, uh. Jeremy, whose dope is it? Man. Don't be all scared, man. You told me earlier whose dope is it. I got it? two kids, and you know that. Why, why, are you why are you telling me this is my dope, Jeremy? Because it's not mine. Whose bag is that? That, man, it's not mine. Jeremy, who's, whose backpack is that? That's his bag. Okay, the clothes that was inside the backpack, who's, uh, whose Those clothes are his. If I put them on, you'll no, I know. I didn't admit it to my clothes already. Jeremy, Jeremy, who put the backpack in, in that mm -hmm. vehicle? Why would he be telling me that? It's kind of hard to explain. When did he put it in there, Jeremy? Earlier today, I guess. An hour ago, two hours ago, or when? About two hours ago. Why okay. did he put it An in there? An hour ago, I guess, or something like that. Why did he put it in there? I don't know. Man. I don't want to tell you, man. He, man OK, well, I'll tell, you what I, I'll tell you what I, I'm going to tell you, OK? You are going to be under arrest right now. You are under arrest for possession of, of marijuana. Put your hand huh. behind your back. Just put your hand behind your head. Scoot in. So he's telling you, gonna, man. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you down. I'm, I'm going to ask the DA and everything. You know, it's kind of funny that the backpack doesn't belong to him. You oh. did admit that that clothes is yours. I admit you know? those pants were mine, the, the pants the pants and the shirt. OK. So you're trying to make him out say, You're trying to say that he being an accessory because he's telling you he's sticking. No, uh, I already any know. Type of accessory. Yeah. I know. I already right. know. Come here. I already know. Scoot over. Scoot over. Scoot over. OK. Uh, they were cruising earlier watching us. And uh, that's what he's saying now. He's saying when he's seen us, when we first entered into the port, they're riding around. He said that's when they come over here. And he said uh, he put the bag in there because we were riding around, because he had it carrying on his back. Oh, the uh, big boy. The big boy did? Yeah, he said he had the bag on his back. And when he seen us first enter in, he said, because he never what we do when we come over here. He said, put it in the truck. Typical day in narcotics. <laughs> How's it going, coach? Today's kids are tomorrow's leaders. 
their minds are always thinking, they're always working, they're always moving. Um, they're just, they're just special people that are, that are out there. And if you don't show them away, sometimes they, they get, they stray from that path of righteousness that we all try to live by. I have a two and a half year old, and he, he's not old enough to play yet. But I can't wait to the day that he's able to play. Thirty-two twenty. Point break. We're going to disturbance over civil code, city code violation. We're en route to a call. Got a report he's stating that she, they advised two juveniles with a handgun in their possession. Uh, we're going to try to intercept them up here. We have units en route to back us up. 27. Stand by for another unit to help you out. 27, going to be out on. Ember and Finfrock. Ember and Finfrock. 27 area. What's up, bud? What's, up, What's going on? All right. You got a driver's license? Yeah. Insurance? Yeah. Can I see it? Yeah. Go ahead and turn your car off. Where are you coming from? School. School? Yeah. Somebody else with you? Yeah. Who was he? Where at? Where at? Right there on mobile. On mobile? Yeah. We have 430 Finfrock? Yeah. Go ahead and step out the car. Right here? Step out the car. Step back here to the rear park. Keep your hands up where I can see you. Keep your hands on the car, sir. Interlock your fingers. Interlock your fingers. What, pardon? Why would somebody call us and say that you had a gun? We had a toy gun in there. You, you got, got a toy, toy gun? Head. Well, that would be a gun. Where's it at? In there. Where in there? Well, under this front seat. Under the front seat. Why, why, would you, why would you be carrying that, sir? Because I had it in there. Because you had it in there? Yeah. How old are you? 16. Well, he yeah, advised that he's got a plastic no. toy gun in, on, under the front seat. As you walk up, you can see it sitting right here on the floorboard. It's good enough to get shot over. Sir, where'd you get this? Store? The store. Keep your hands right here. What happened to the orange right here. supposed to be on it? Somewhere in there, huh? Somewhere so keep your hands on the back of your head. Don't just do that again. Is this worth getting shot over? No. Does this look pretty would... real to you? If I walked up with this on my hip, would you think it was a real gun? Yeah. Yeah. This is actually considered carrying a prohibited weapon because you're uh, passing this off to be a prohibited weapon. So we're going to discuss right now whether we're going to place you under arrest for carrying this or not. I'm going to give you an opportunity to tell us the complete version before I place you under arrest. What's a complete version? How did someone even see you with that gun? I don't know. You don't know? No. OK, that's a good answer. Oh. Where'd you see me at? That's not the question. The question was, Why would what was a complete version? That gun? Probably because my friend took it out and he was playing with it. Oh, took it out. Why did he take it out? Huh? Okay, it was right there. You can see it right there. You know, all them shit. He, he took it out. OK. Were y'all walking down the street with it? No. Wrong. We weren't walking on the street with it. We okay. have witnesses saying otherwise, OK? I've been in a car since, since I, I got in it after school. OK. OK. Come on this way. Go with him. Okay. Bueno, lo que pasa, señor, ahorita, Ok, déjame explicarle, ok. Lo que pasa es que alguien lo vio con esa pistola, que pistola? esa pistola que está ahí arriba de, de la cojuela ahorita. Were you able to ascertain if uh, he, uh, he saw somebody else get out the car? Get out of the car? Yeah, see if he dropped somebody else off. Hey, Jim, how many people were in the car? Huh? How many people were in the car? Two. Did he drop somebody off? Yeah. 
Who did he drop off? Uh, just another uh, guy back up here. Who's the one that pulled the gun? The driver did. The driver? Okay. Can you explain to us what happened? I was sitting at uh, the intersection uh, at Jackson and Shaver, okay. and uh, a couple guys come by in the uh, crosswalk and uh, shot the finger at the kid in the car, the driver. Okay. He reached under the seat and pulled out the gun, pointed at him, then put it back under the seat and made a right turn and left. Okay, and you followed him yeah. throughout the whole thing? Right. Okay. So there was another gentleman with him, another right. juvenile with him, got right. off, dropped him off, right. and you, you stayed following him, yeah. the... Okay. So did it look real to you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. He was saying that the, uh, the orange band identified as a toy was somewhere in the car. Who, the, the driver? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll check. We'll check before we finish releasing the vehicle. See yeah, to show that he purposely took it off. Okay. That's clear. I'm going to take these cuffs off. I want you to put your right hand on the back of my car and put your left hand on the back of my car. Do you understand? All right, sir. Uh, district attorney declined to take the charge and recommended that we pursue the case in a Class C misdemeanor. Uh, suspect's going to be issued a citation and released to his parents as well as his vehicle. Um, he'll have to go to court here in the city of Pasadena and answer to the judge here in Pasadena why he did what he did. This is in fact how it goes on the gun to show that it is a play gun. The, the toy makers have made it to where when you see something with a bright orange on it, it's supposed to show that it's a, a toy gun. Once you take that off and it exposes that barrel like that and you point it at somebody, all they see is a hole. It's enough to scare anybody to think it is a real gun.